the storm stopper is in the building today, and he had you on his mind. The storm stopper is in this place today. Yeah, the mind regulator is in this place today. The problem stopper is in this place today. He's in the house today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play a little low. Play, play just a little bit low right now because you know what I'm telling you. What right now? Worry is in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know we praising him. I know we worship him right now. But he said, fear not, neither be dismayed. For I, the Lord thy God, am with thee and am mighty. Not only he's with you and mighty, but he said, I will help you. How many of y'all need some help today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the wrong place to be worrying about who else raising their hand. But the Lord wants to help you. God bless you, brother. Yeah, the Lord wants to help you. Say, Lord, help me. Say, Lord, help me. Yeah, yeah, we need help right now. You know, I, I can't wait to the day that we stop looking around wondering who else raising their hands. You know, I need some peace right now. You may not need peace as bad as I need it, but I need some peace right now. I need peace right now because, yeah, the winds are raising. The waters are climbing. But I believe that I got the right one with me. If you know you got the right one on the boat with you, you ought to shout glory. Shout glory. Shout glory. Yeah, hallelujah. Shakata. Yes, Lord. Yeah, yeah. He's here. He's here. He's here. Y'all know what? I'm, I'm trying to get there, but let me tell you what we're doing right now. We're confusing the enemy. You're confusing the enemy. You, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You need to go there. You need to go there. He, he said, how can you offer praise in a strange land? How, let, let, me, let me paint it for you. Let me, I really need to paint it for you because some of us don't understand. How many of y'all are going through hell right now without looking around? And, and I ain't talking about your house about to split or nothing, but, but you may be going through emotional hell right now. You may be going through hell on your job. But he said praise will confuse the enemy. So if I'm raging hell if I was the enemy and I'm bothering you with all I got, and I look up and that fool over there praising me, that'll make the enemy. Stop, stop, stop for a minute. If you can, if you can for a minute, let me tell you what that'll make the enemy do. See, I, I believe the Bible's so strong. See, when they begin to praise God in the Bible, it said the enemy began to kill themselves. Y'all didn't hear me. Your problem would defeat itself. If you start praising him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ha God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let me tell you. I'm finna release. I'm finna release something in here. Oh, Shonda Saka. I'm finna release something in this place. I need you to play real low right now. I'm finna release something real. Yeah, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. You ain't got to raise your hand. God's finna heal some of y'all y'all bodies right now. Let, let me tell you how I know it. Let me tell you how I know it. Because he said, I send my word to heal you and to deliver you. And, 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 and see, the enemy has bothered some of us so much with sickness and disease that we can't praise God. We're in a confused sickness right now. Y'all, y'all. See, see, it said last week that Abraham didn't even consider his body. See, if you don't consider your situation, what it's doing to you, and if you can just offer up praise right now, I'm talking about for y'all that got high blood pressure. Those that got arthritis, y'all that the enemy just telling you anything. If you can just praise God right now, I decree and declare by the anointed and the Holy Ghost that God will cause your temperature, yeah, your pressures to change even in our shakata. Roshakata Lobosa. Yeah, Shakata Lobosa. Yes, Lord. Glory. 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 Glory, glory in this place. Glory, glory. Yeah, he laying his hands on some of y'all right now. 
Yeah, all y'all got to do is believe the word. All y'all got to do is believe the word. You ain't got to feel no virtue. All you got to do is believe the word. All you got to do is take the word for what the word says. Yeah, yeah. By his stripes, I'm healed. Because he was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of my peace was upon him and by his stripes, I'm healed. Mother Collins, would you just walk to me for a minute, Mother Collins? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Ah, Sunday, they didn't know Sunday. Shake it, they didn't know no cold Sunday, they didn't know Sunday. Yeah. Shake it, they didn't know no cold Sunday, they didn't know Shake it, they didn't know no cold Sunday, they didn't know Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You can walk by. Whatever that was, God done did. I felt virtue leave my body. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I'm not the devil, but if I was the devil, I'd get up out of here. These are some strange, crazy people. They came to deal with the devil today. We didn't come to whine about our problem. We didn't come to tell nobody else about our problem. We came to pray the Lord right in front of the enemy because we believe greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. I believe my God is great. I believe my God is mighty. I believe my God is awesome. I believe my God is faithful. I believe my God is wonderful. I believe my God can fix it. I also believe what the prophet Jeremiah said, is there anything too hard for God? And if you don't know the answer, I come to tell you, ain't nothing too hard for God. Yeah, God going to change some of y'all thought patterns today. Somebody say today. God going to change some thought patterns today. Today, y'all sit down. Y'all sit down. Sit down. If you can't sit down, sit down. If you can't, stand on up. Somebody say glory. Oh, God. Glory. Now I know why I just laid there and couldn't even really study, but just laid there. And I said this to the praise team this morning, all glory to God. I said, the Lord said one word to me that intense, that there will be an intense anointing in this place, an anointing with great energy, great enthusiasm. That, that's all happening. The word is coming to pass. Amen. That's all you need to happen in your life is for the word to come to pass. You you don't need a whole, let me tell you, you don't need a whole lot of I don't want nobody to interpret this wrong. You don't need a whole lot of people prophesying to you. You just need a word from the Lord. That's all you need is a word from the Lord. And see, a lot of times we have itching ears in 2019, and, and we get we so confused with so many words. You don't need nothing but one word from the Lord. I have my notes, so I'm ready. Say, I'm ready. And you ought to be ready for what God got for you to do. And, and, and I want to share this testimony, and we're going to go to one scripture in a minute. All glory to God. Uh, yes, was it yesterday the young lady called you, seven from out of state? How many of y'all remember a few weeks ago I was trying to preach, and the Lord told me, y'all told me to tell y'all to go back again? Y'all can slip your hands up if you, whether you heard on Facebook. Let me tell you what happened. Somebody was watching on Facebook. Somebody was watching on Facebook. And they had been turned down for their disability for three years. Listen to what I'm telling you. Three years, she said, I heard that man preach. All glory to God. No matter about the name, as long as his name being glorified. She contacted my wife some kind of way. She said, and I went back down there to them people. And I don't know if y'all understand the process if you put in three years ago. She put in for it three years ago. And all her deniers, she went back. She get all her money back from the first time she got denied. This somebody that wasn't in here, but she heard a word from the Lord. Do you hear what I'm telling you? And, and, and she contacted Sylvia. She said, let me tell you uh, what I did. 
She said, I'm looking for a way to get some money to the sanctuary. Y'all ain't hear what I'm telling you. And so yesterday, was it yesterday that wedding? We went to the wedding. She got us doing a Giblify conference. Because she, she wants to give so bad. She said, y'all got to walk me through it. She said, because God told me to go back. And God gave me back for three years. And she said, I need to find out how to give right now. I didn't ask her how much she gave. She called my wife back. She said, and tell the pastor that man, I gave him a gift too. Oh, God. Y'all don't want to celebrate. Y'all don't want to celebrate. You, you, you know, Hebrews, Hebrews, Hebrews tell me the word was preached unto us as unto them. But it did not profit them because they didn't mix it with faith. There's some people don't have their miracle because you got a word, but you didn't mix it with faith. She could have shouted, she could have danced it, back dance or whatever, but if she didn't go down to that office. How many of y'all want to get y'all stuff back? How many of y'all the enemy been bothering with y'all? God going to give it back to you. God going to give it back to you. Let, let me tell you that you need the enemy to ike up. Because all the enemy doing is messing up to get you set up for a bigger blessing. I have not, since I got saved in 97, have yet to see that the enemy took something from us that God did give us far better. You, you, you ought to be saying, Lord, ooh, woo. Devil, you ought to have some common sense by now. You know the devil ought to have some good sense by now. You, 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 you know, if I knew of allowing that joker to get locked up in 97, that he was going to get loose and act like this, I would have let him stay on the corner. Y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up. The, en the enemy didn't want you to get free for this. Yeah, you need to tell your situation that the enemy don't want you to get free for this. Y'all ain't talking. See, see, I can get mine out of my mouth. But see, some of y'all can't get y'all breakthrough because you don't know how to open your mouth. Every, everything in this world starts with words. We believe, yeah, we have the same spirit of faith. And we believe and therefore have we spoken. And so you got to start putting some things into the atmosphere. I ain't talking about just decreeing and declaring. But you got to start speaking and believing with authority. You got to believe that when you say something, something is going to happen. I believe this morning by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that there was going to be an intense anointing in this place. And there is an intense anointing in this place. There's going to be some people in this place that's going to walk in a level of peace and deliverance like never before for their health gonna change to their doctor gonna say I don't know what happened because I looked at your test and your test confusing me now yeah how, how many y'all need your educated doctor to get confused and see y'all think God gonna have to go mess up the papers God gonna change your health that when the next time you have a test the doctor going to read by his stripes. Y'all ain't hear me. He ain't going to see it, Roy. But you're you going to say, I don't know. Gonna, and then you're going to tell him what you see. You see 1 Peter 2.24 coming to pass. See, some of y'all don't think it's coming to pass. That's why you stop saying it. It's coming. Somebody say it's coming. Somebody say it's coming. It's coming to pass. And the way you bring that word to pass, you keep on calling for it. He said, call those things. You see how Mother Collins came? I called for her. It was a process of her coming. So whatever she was dealing with, it came to pass because I called for it. That word means command. Yeah, you got to command some things. I ain't talking about actual things. He said, I've given you everything that pertains to life and godliness. And if you're not, yeah, I know they're quoting it all over TV, talking about you living your best life. No, if you ain't walking in the world, you ain't living your best life. Don't let them fool you with that foolishness. You ain't got life and life more abundantly yet. I don't care how big your house. I don't care about all that. But until you got a seat in the kingdom and know where you're going at without a shadow of a doubt, that's your best life. Yeah. I don't need no clown in the streets to tell me I'm living my best life. I found that out in 97. Living my best life just because that's the saying. 
No, I'm living my best life because of John 10, 10. He said, I came to give you life. That word means Zoe, Z-O-E, the God kind of life, where I experience the promises of God. Y'all sit down, please. Please. Y'all the hard-headed people in the church. Ain't God all right? Yeah, God want to do something for you today. God want to do something great for you today. If y'all got to stand up again, y'all go ahead and stand up. Ain't God all right? How many of y'all want all God has for you? Sound like seven. How many in this building want all that the Lord has for them? How many of y'all really want to be blessed? We, we say blessed, but blessed means you are empowered to prosper. That means you're made fortunate, happy. Yes. And the word I really don't want to tell y'all what blessed means, it might scare some of y'all. It means to be envied. So if I was to ask again, a lot of us don't want that blessing because we don't want people to be envious of us. But you can't have one without the other. I really want the favor of God more than I want you to like me. You, you, you know, once this word changes your mind, you'll stop worrying about whether they like it. As long as God all right. Because you're going to change anyway. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all know we change up with seasons. Y- y'all believe that, Miss Donna? Don't we change up with seasons? Y'all see how we were changing when that fan and the and the atmosphere were changing. But I need His favor all the time. How many of y'all want the favor of God? And, and, and you know, you ain't got to chase His favor. His favor wants to chase you. That's good news right there. That once you got saved, favor is part of your benefit book. Yeah, yeah, you, you know how you stay on jobs before you get vacation on? Favor comes. Favor's there. He said, I will surround the righteous, not the perfect. The righteous mean those that are in right relationship with Jesus. He didn't say the perfect. We got a perfect Savior. We got to accept what he done, and then we can walk in perfection. See, we can't be perfect, but we can believe right. Let's, 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 let's go to the book. Proverbs. Very good book. Very, very good book. Father, we just want to say thank you, God. You're already amazing us, God. And Father, I just ask you for preaching grace, preaching grace, unction. God, I need to be able to yield myself wholly to you, God. So that you can work in and through me, God. That they can hear the mind of God, the voice of God, and experience the power of God. God, pour grace upon my lips, God. God, you said that your word will come with word, power, and demonstration. God, have your way. And it's in Jesus' name let us all say amen. Uh, Proverbs uh, book that's full of wisdom. How many of us need wisdom? Amen. Uh, Something I really believe in, I do believe in reading the Proverbs. Solomon wrote most of the Proverbs and you know, that's the first thing he prayed for, wisdom and an understanding heart. Amen. But I, I'll say this uh, not lightly. Uh, just asking for wisdom, it don't just come. You got to go in the wisdom book. I, I pray we can grab what I just said. You know, if we want wisdom, we get wisdom from the mind of God. Amen. And the word of God is the mind of God. And so... Solomon was a very, very wise man to the point people would come to hear him talk. <laughs> Not only see how he talked, but how he was arrayed, how he was addressed. Do, do you know wisdom, wisdom will promote you and prosper you? I'm, I'm speaking tongues or something. Do, do, do you know he put ornaments of grace upon your shoulder because of wisdom? And so... 
I was asking the Lord to give me a word uh, all week, and I thought, somebody say, I thought. I thought I was going to talk to y'all about Jeremiah, about pressure. Y you know, because when we get up under pressure, well, sometimes we buckle. A am I right? See, see, that's the part of church that we got to get past, that we don't want to tell the truth about the real stuff that we have to deal with. Pressure will show your true character. This church said and don't always show it. But pressure pull it out. Amen. And we, somebody say, I need pressure. Hmm. And life sometimes will apply some pressure. Yeah. And so Proverbs 27, one verse. Verse 17, while you're turning it, I want to quote another proverb, if y'all don't mind. Proverbs 24, 10 say, if your strength faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. That means if you buckle when you begin to go through something, you ain't all you thought. I'm, I'm, I'm just, Proverbs 27, 17 Tell your neighbor, we sharpen each other. Look somewhere. This, this is what I want. I want to get a breakthrough right now. Look somewhere and say that to somebody. <laughs> that if I didn't tell you to, you wouldn't look at. We sharpen each other. Yeah. Uh-huh. See, Roy. They playing right now just because I'm giving them something to say. But in a minute, in a minute, you're going to find out the one that you didn't really want to say that to. See, my man right there, some of them ain't going to say it to the one that's really sharpening them yet. See, right now I say it to Randy, I say it to Joe, I say it to Roy, but you, you know I got to watch because big Luke bigger than me. I might not say it to Luke. And there's some people that we won't say it to because when the truth be told, it's amazing who God will use to help you get sharper. See, see, see if I can just get it all from Roy, I'll be straight. Because we've been in it for a long time together. But God might want to use somebody that rubbed me the wrong way. Let me back up for a minute. What I think is rubbing me the wrong way. Sometimes the way we're being rubbed that we think the wrong way is the way we need to be rubbed. Mm -hmm. And so Proverbs, yeah, uh, 27, uh, 17 says, as iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. It, it, it says iron works with iron, to make iron better. So friends working with each other make them better. Am I right about it? And, and so this word, he'll sharpen me. And Roy, can, I'm just going to talk to you here since you got your tennis shoes on today. Before you get in that truck in the morning. Uh, the word sharpen uh, means to make better or to make more efficient. Amen. Uh, uh, but in the, the, the Greek, it means to make keen. But to cause you to be highly developed. And so as I was thinking about this, uh, I, I began, uh, yeah, uh, yes, Lord, have mercy, uh, to think about diamonds. Somebody say diamonds. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to mess with y'all too, too much, but I asked Sylvia this morning, uh, why do they say that diamonds are a girl's? See, see now they're scared to say it. Diamonds are a girl's what? And, and Luke, you ought to be feeling the pressure of going to get a diamond right now. 
he, he, he's about to say, I do. And so that's good. God bless you. But, but, but what I, I found out, Lord have mercy, uh, uh, at Lakeland Square Mall, uh, uh, that before, yes, a diamond can get in a case, it got to go through a process. Yeah, yeah, see, see, it's easy, Roy, to say I'm going to buy my wife a diamond or to finance her a diamond. Am I right? But before that diamond, oh, Lord have mercy, arrives in that case, it has to go through a lot. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and as I was back there, uh, the Lord began to remind me that, that before you get a microphone and before you begin to function in an anointing, you got to go through some rough stuff. See, see they ain't talking right now. Uh, how many of y'all want to walk in the power of God? You better be careful about throwing those hands up now. You, 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 be, you better, you, I, I'm, I'm going to give you another chance. I'm going to let you cheat on this one. How many of y'all really want to function in the anointing, the power of the almighty God? Well, you, you don't raise your hand. Now, l l let me tell you what that signs you up for. That signs you up to go through a process. And, and, and I found out, Lord have mercy, uh, uh, not all diamonds are authentic. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. See, see, there are some people that say they're anointed, but it's not a real anointing, Lord have mercy. See, because if you're walking in an anointing, yeah, yeah, and a storm comes, I'm talking about the anointed one on the ship right now. You don't panic. You just get up and start talking to it. Am I right about it? But, but, but if you are a fake, Lord have mercy, they call it synthetic, Lord have mercy. Uh, they call it uh, man-made, Lord have mercy. See, see, they got some authentic jewelry. And then they got some synthetic jewelry. And because none of us work at the jewelry store and haven't been trained, a lot of us don't have enough discernment to know the difference between anointing and play play stuff. Yeah, yeah, if I say enough cliches and rare bite, a lot of us will say, that's good preaching. But if ain't nobody being delivered, that may be synthetic. So, so it, don't, it don't amaze me just because the crowd get up. Is the crowd getting up and leaving their shackles down, though? We're talking about the anointing. And, and, and so, Roy, I, I found out, Lord have mercy, uh, that, that, that in Africa, they call it the motherland, amen, uh, uh, that some will, Lord have mercy, will put their life on the line to dive in deep caves to find diamonds. Good God. Uh, yeah, yeah, you need to hear that, yeah. Uh, Sometimes to find your value, you, you won't find it up top. Sometimes God allows himself to reach way down, Lord have mercy, to pick you up, good God Almighty. And, and, and so, so what I found out, uh, uh, they have to die, good God, Lord help me slow down. Uh, uh, they dive down, they, they take turns, and, and they come out with handfuls. And then they check those things out, those rocks out, and guess what? They find out they ain't nothing but stones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because they got faith to go back, they, they, they believe that if I keep on diving, that one of these dives is going to produce some greatness. See, see, we can go in a store and get one diamond that costs a whole lot. Am I right? But imagine somebody going down there and hit the real bullseye and come out with a handful of real diamonds. They say some Africans have dived and came out with a billion dollars in their hand. They ain't got to dive no more. But listen, they knew what they was diving for. Now that's in Africa. Now at most mining places in America, <laughs> the industrialized diamonds they call them, Lord have mercy. Because a diamond is so far down, uh, listen to this, listen to this real closely because uh, y'all are diamonds I'm talking to today. Yeah, you, you may not know it, you may not be shining right right now, but you're still a diamond. T tell your neighbor you're still a diamond. Yeah, yeah, you ain't, they don't believe it yet, not how you tell them. Tell them you're still a diamond. Yeah, you might be a little dusty right now, but you're still a diamond. And I might be a little dusty right now, but I'm still a diamond. I might be a little rough around the edges, but I'm still a diamond. And let me go ahead and tell y'all a little bit, uh, my notes real fast. Uh, most diamonds are rough around the edges. Good God. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it take another rough diamond <laughs> to chisel that one out. Lord have mercy. That's why you don't want to work with him or her. Because they got the same rough edges as you got. But God put y'all together, Lord have mercy. So y'all can chisel and cut around each other in that same area. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I love these diamonds. And so what they do, uh, Roy, uh, uh, they blow up. Listen to this. They blow up the earth and cause an explosion. See, some of us don't know why stuff blowing up around us. It's because God wants the diamond in us to come to the top. Lord have mercy. And, and, and see, once the diamonds come up to the top, Lord, let me talk to them. And, and so once the diamond comes to the top, Lord, they get an excavator, Lord have mercy. And they take it somewhere, Lord. God talked to us. And once they take it in there, they got to run water over it. Yeah, yeah. And they begin to separate the diamonds, Lord have mercy. And then they got to put it up under something called an anvil, Lord have mercy. They got to put it up under something that begins to cause a pressure. Somebody say pressure. And it's not just a little bit of pressure. Pressure. It's something called HPHT. That's high pressure and high temperature. Good God. See, some of us don't know why we're going through what we're going through. You need to be up under high pressure and a hot temperature at all times. And God knows what, how much pressure and how hot it needs to get for him to get the diamond out of us. God talk to us even right now. And so what happens are uh, the pressure comes for us. And the pressure's on the right. The pressure's on the left. The pressure's on the bike. The pressure in the front. But he knows that if I keep on putting pressure on him, there's a diamond coming out. And see, I, Lord, have mercy. I know some of y'all want to leave right now. You don't really want to be a diamond, but you need to learn how to handle pressure, yeah. You need to learn that the Lord ain't going to crush you. He's just going to bring the diamond out of you. And once he does that, Lord, have mercy, yeah, yeah. He understands that he got to take the diamond somewhere else, yeah, because all of us don't really know what a real diamond is. We've been saved. I got saved in 97, and there's some people that have fooled me that I thought had an anointing. Yes, and some people done fooled you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we done fooled some people. See, we ain't going to skip that one. Lou, we all know how to fool somebody. Yeah, we ain't going to bother that. But so, Roy, I, I, I saw the jeweler. He had to take out this tool. To look at a synthetic diamond and an authentic diamond. And he put it up on the, a magnifying glass. And he looked at it. Let me tell y'all something right here. Y'all better catch this. And boy, the synthetic diamond looked better than the real diamond. Y'all better catch that one now. Don't let it fool you when you go to the jewelry store. Let me, let me tell y'all something. Say time out. When Simon went to the counter, I was over there when I was looking at them prices. I was straight with over here. She had her mind over there. Let's stay over here. In my mind, you know you can't really say that now. Y'all better get some wisdom now. You can't really say that. Oh, oh, oh I hear you. They start transferring, speaking another tongue. Oh, I ain't worth this. <laughs> Luke, you better hope your wife ain't watching this on Facebook. But, 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 so I kept my mouth closed. And Lord have mercy, because there's more numbers in that counter over there. But, but when I told Cappy this morning, uh, as I was searching and researching diamonds yesterday, uh, there was this older lady that spent 50 grand for a diamond. Wore it 10 years to find out after she left that country, moved to Miami, took it to a jeweler, found out it was worth $10. Oh, yeah, I know you feel it. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes we think we're connected to people that's worth more, but they ain't worth all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you imagine her knees buckling in the jewelry store? I done gave all my 401k, my retirement payment, and I ain't got number $10. I can't even eat on the way home, and I thought I had enough to buy a car, but I got $10. That ain't even two Happy Meals. That ain't even enough to pay my rent, and I thought I, Lord have mercy, I thought I had myself something. Ten. Staking ones. Not $10. Not a $10 bill. But 10 bruised up ones. 
no stikes. And so what a good, when, when Timothy was over there, we bought it. Luke, let me tell you what I did because I was saved, but I was going to turn that mall out if I would have found out they got me like that. At least it was worth going to jail. So what I did, I, she, she got it, she got it. I walked, she said, what you do? I said, let me walk. I went to another jewelry store down the corner. I just walked in there. I said, hey, y'all tell me this real. I just threw it up there. I interrupted the whole store. They put a meter on it. It began to beep. It's telling you what kind of stone and metal it is. And then it went all the way to the edge. He said, you got a high quality diamond. He said, do you need anything? I said, That's, I got what I needed. And see, a lot of us don't know what we got until somebody else checks us. What do I mean my checks uh, strains us? And so as I was on what, the internet, this is how you check the quality. Don't y'all go check y'all diamonds. <laughs> this, let me give you a few tests. You still a diamond, right? Yeah, you, you still a diamond? Well, one of the tests uh, they, they do is uh, first, uh, they take the diamond and lay it on a piece of paper, good God, with some writing on it. And if you can see what the paper says behind the diamond, you ain't got yourself nothing. You ought not be, I, I ought not be able to see what they're saying through you. Y'all ain't catch that, did see, see, you got to have eyes to see in the spirit that though Gamble's saying this, is that really what he's saying? Or is somebody else speaking to and through him? See, see, a good jeweler know how to look real good. And, and, and another test they, they do, they, they have something called fire. Somebody say fire. And, and they take it for 30 seconds because you know a lot of us, people find out real fast if we real. They take the fire and then they get a, a jar of water. They put the heat on the diamond. And then they drop it in the water. If it goes straight to the bottom, you may have yourself something. But if you drop it in there and go to the middle and start swimming and then go down, you ain't got yourself nothing. What, what, what I'm trying to tell you that if, if God give you something, as soon as you get it, you start rocking and ain't sure, you ain't really got what you think. Yeah, you got to learn how to stand even at the bottom. The, the next test, uh, Lord have mercy, is uh, the, the, the blowing test. Ooh, Jesus, this the one. A, 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 a jeweler, Roy, he will blow on the diamond. It takes about three seconds for it to clear up. If it get cloudy, it ain't real. The Lord said to me, he said, those ones that you're breathing on and you done blowed on and, and you done had to correct and, and they still cloudy and three seconds go. Y'all better hear that on the tape. The, the, the jeweler must blow on you. Good God. Your leader must be able to blow on you. And, and, and yes, it may not always be right where he blow and breathe on you, but guess what? You ought to clear up after a while. If, if your shot, Lord have mercy, what's going on? If, if your head ain't clear by now, Lord have mercy, we got to check what you're made of. And so Joe, uh, they, they done check the diamonds. Well, they done check the diamonds. Now, now, now the next thing, guess what they have to do? Because most of us can't afford walking around with what we think we want to walk around with. You, you know, I saw some small diamonds cost a million dollars. It, and the shape, somebody say the shape, the character of the diamond. Before it was placed in the store, it had to face another diamond. Y'all ain't cares in this. 
the jeweler knows, Lord have mercy. He knows that I can't sell this like this. So, so the only way, because it's a hard stone and it's sharp, I need to get another hard stone that's sharp to rub against it, Lord have mercy. And the Lord began to tell me, Roy, that that's the reason me and you can function so good together because we know when we rub at each other, we're not trying to destroy each other, Lord have mercy. We got to get to the point that if you bump heads with somebody and y'all keep touching in the wrong way, they ain't trying to kill you. God is using them to develop you. God wants to develop us, but guess what? No, they ain't treating me right. The devil is a liar. I understand, Roy. Be on that truck two weeks at a time, and I don't hardly answer that phone, but then he said, T, let me give you something. And I know right there he must be having something from the Lord. And he know when I start talking, he'll pause. Do you understand what I'm saying? It ain't always high-fiving. I'm glad to see you. You need some people, somebody say people, that don't mind telling you what thus said the Lord. You need some people, yeah, to tell you, yeah, you're anointed, you're a diamond, but you got some rough edges. Somebody talk to me. You may speak in tongues, but we got some rough edges. You may know how to prophesy, Pastor, but you got some rough edges. What do I mean by that? You can cut somebody this way, but God wants us to get to the place where it ain't about cutting and damning. It's about his glory coming forth. Somebody say, I need his glory to come forth. That means I got to go through some pressure. Somebody say pressure. 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 Yeah, yeah, Paul, Paul. My cousin, y'all don't believe me, my cousin. You know, anybody that go to prison, you know, we got some people in the church that kin to everybody. So I'm going to say I'm kin to Paul. Shoot. Why not? You can't prove it. Paul says in 2 Corinthians 4, he said we have this ministry. And don't faint. How many of y'all know we're all called to ministry? I heard you this morning, Sister Con. Y'all, y'all I, I ain't called everybody a prophet. I ain't called everybody a pastor. Now. But how many of y'all know we're called to minister, to serve, to share the Lord Jesus? How many of y'all raise your hand? And, and, and he began to say, we have this treasure. Somebody say treasure. In earthen vessels. That means we are carrying his anointing for his light to be revealed. Lord have mercy. And then Paul goes down to verse 8. And he said we are troubled. Lord have mercy. On every. Oh Lord have mercy. On every side. When I go to work there goes trouble. When I go to the bank there goes trouble. When I go to the doctor there goes trouble. And when I come back home there goes trouble. It ain't time for you to get out. You need to know he's working in you. Lord have mercy an exceeding weight of glory he wants you to walk in the anointing Lord have mercy but we got to learn to stop trying to get out of the fire stop trying to get from under pressure because if you want his glory yeah to spring in and through you you got to learn how to go through pressure yeah I know you're saying you want the mic I know you're gifted but can you handle pressure can you preach to the people when you're going through something can you pray for the people when you're going through something can you be faithful when ain't nobody else being faithful that's what we're talking about we're talking about pressure somebody say pressure this is what Leo told me in prison and he finna go home hey Joe come wait up the right foot give me a word like that and he walk out the gate I got to stay hey, have anybody just prophesied to you and your problem want you to jump and you think about it you doing all right Oh, lead me word of word and go. He come way to Rafa. Let me show you what's God. Y'all, y'all got to believe God for this. He's never filled out a visitation form to be on my list. The Lord told him to come see me in Rafa. He drove all the way up there, called me out, and they let me out. The people on the visiting list, they gave more problems than that. He said, T, God told me. And he come in there with notepads and stuff. He said, T, I ain't going to stay long. The Lord told me to come do something. And see, he was operating in wisdom then because they start checking stuff. You better get on out of there. He said, this, this is what the Lord told me to give you. He gave me Jeremiah 1, 5 through 11. Talk about a long clock. And the bottom, he said, quitters never win. And winners never quit. He said, Joseph went from the pit to the palace because he didn't quit. And let me tell you how the glory of the Lord is going to hit you this season like never before. Because God going to give us some strength to stop quitting so fast. 
Y'all ain't here. Y'all yeah, ain't here. I, I, I could have, yeah. I could have acted like everybody else in prison and start just acting out and, and, and just get used to and adjust to that environment. But greatness was inside of me. And, and if you know that greatness inside of you, you, you ought not let quit sit in your spirit. Yeah, yeah, I, I wasn't going to arrest quit. And, and you got to stop arresting quit in your mind. Yeah, yeah, I need to throw in the tower. The devil is a liar. Joseph said, no, David said it like this. I had almost fainted. Y'all don't hear what I'm telling you. He said, here I am becoming, somebody say becoming, the king of all Israel. Yeah, yeah. And I'm on the run. That don't even sound right. Why would they anoint me to be on the run? I was back there minding my business, my stank business with them animals. And soon, Lord have mercy, soon as they put that oil on me, I find myself on the run. Have you ever said, Lord, yes? And then all of a sudden, you're on the run. Yeah. Not only he on the run from Saul, he got children in his house acting up. He got people tripping on every side. So I can understand the day when David said, I had almost fainted. He, he said, I almost threw in the tower. I had the tower in my hand. He said, lest I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe I'm going to see the promises of God in 2019. Not no later on by and by. I believe in the kingdom suffers violence and the violence taken by force. I believe you got to take this thing with authority. I believe you got to go through some hell and tell hell. I ain't going to be here long. I'm coming out and I'm coming out blessed. Blessed in the city and blessed in the field. Blessed when I come in and blessed when I go out. Everywhere I go, they're going to declare me a blessing. It's going to be so bad, you know what the enemy going to say? Get him out of here. That's when you know you're blessed. That's what happened to the children of Israel. Yeah, he said, get them out of there. Y'all want to be blessed like that? But guess what? You got to change your thinking. You got to know now unto him that he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ask a thing according to the power that worketh in you. It depends on what you're letting work in you. Are you authentic or are you synthetic? So Roy, it tripped me out for them to look down in the synthetic diamond and it ain't have no flaws. Y'all better be careful. Listen to them preachers that ain't never did nothing. <laughs> yeah. See, y'all don't want to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them perfect people, they ain't need no savior. So they can't preach to me no gospel. I need somebody that done sinned like me, done did some stuff, but God got them. And, and yeah, yeah. See, y'all want somebody that ain't got no struggles. You need to know somebody got some struggles so that they can tell you, yeah, the Lord can keep you staying in perfect peace because I almost lost my mind too. Not out there, but up in here. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever lost your, almost lost your mind? You need to speak to your mind, yeah. I got to talk to my mind sometimes when y'all don't know it. I got to think of those things that are just pretty lovely of good report. You know why? Because the weapons of our warfare are not called but mighty through God. God, to the pulling down of strongholds and I know I know somebody say I know that the enemy wants some strongholds in my mind but I got to tell my mind you can't stay here you can't stay here I don't know where you got to go but you got to get the hell up out of you I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry TV <laughs> if your preacher ain't never said hell but guess what he better learn how to say it I ain't going, so I might as well know how to say it. See, we want a pretty gospel. See, but I read in Jeremiah, you know, God began to punish people. He said, I'm going to punish all of them that piss against the wall. Oh, that ain't right. You know what he said? All the men punish. Ain't no woman should be standing up like that. He shouldn't say that. But my Lord and Savior, the Lamb of God, Flipped over tables and called them a generation of vipers. Yes, sir. They up in church running the whole synagogue. He said, you generation of vipers. You shut the kingdom up. You won't go in. No one, nobody else to come in. You know, we got to get to the point of stop being so religious because the people can't come in because we got too many rules when they get here. The devil is a liar. We need to just come and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that he died and he got up. Stop telling the people they got to go through a series. 
He went through that for me. Both of us ain't got to go to no cross. So, 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 somebody say so. <laughs> Lord Jesus. So, so, so when, the, when the jeweler looks down in the synthetic diamond, he's, he begins to smile in his eye like y'all laughing. This just too good to be true. See, they ain't going to do it in your face because some of us will get upset and flip out and rebuke the jeweler. You can't tell me they ain't buy me that. That's that lady that's been in the fifth of thousand. It's, 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 the enemy wants to get over on us. He wants to deceive the very elect. So he's looking, Roy. How in the world a joker can cut straight edges and make them curvy like this? Ma'am? Sir? This is a material, but it's not a diamond. <laughs> that's grace. God called you, but he's still working on you. That, that's how people do it, right? Yeah, I'm not saying you're not gifted. But, but, but watch how you say and do that. that that's not a jeweler to do it. He, he, he really telling you, I, I see some areas. And, and he say, he say come, come, on, come on around for a minute. He said, come on around for a minute. He said, look, look down there. He gave you the glass. He said, you, you see those fragments down there? He, he said, that's, that's coal. There, there should be some evidence that it came from coal. I don't care. That's good, Roy. I, I, I don't care how long you're walking. As long as you're in the flesh, it ought to be some evidence that you're human. See, see, see I got to be careful when the amens jump on that because sometimes... God ain't through with me yet. That ain't no excuse. See, so, some of us use that for a license to sin. You can't be saying that since 68 and, and, and 2002 that God ain't through with me yet. No, God ain't through with you because you ain't allow God to work on you. You just want to work on people and have your way and say, the Lord knows my heart. He sure do. That's why he keep applying heart pressure. And I've learned that every tongue ain't a tongue of God. Sometimes it's just pressure. Because in the kingdom, there's people that chant. Not in the kingdom of God now. And, and, and we have to be careful because some come in to spy out our liberty, sit down, and we hear four tongues and they shout and run. And we, no, that don't mean they delivered. That don't even mean they have the Holy Ghost. They may have something. But, somebody say, but, I'm still a diamond. Yeah, yeah, may look dull right now, but I'm still a diamond. May have some flaws right now, but I'm still a diamond. May need a little bit of polishing right now. I ain't talking to me, I'm talking to you. Y'all understand what I'm saying? See, see, we got to know when we begin to decree and declare that, that, that mine ain't shining right now. But I know I still possess great value. Y all, y all, see, see, we get caught up with bling and what our eyes can see. Do, do you know that as dusty as this ring is, it's still a diamond? And what I'm trying to tell you, I don't care what your situation look like right now. You need to know that you're still a diamond. Do, 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 do you know your value? I asked Cappy one day, I, I, I'm sorry, Cappy. You know, one time they told me they was younger, why are you always preaching about us? Well, I'm sorry today. I said, Cappy, will you sell me your car for... Uh, $200 or something. She said, no. I said, why? She said, it's worth more than that. And see, a lot of us been selling ourselves short because you don't know what you're worth. When I was at Publix, and I'm closing, went out there two months, Roy. I was just looking for a job, just glad to be working for more than five days a month. I was getting paid five days a month for three years. No check. It just happened to work to cut this time. Amen. So I didn't pull up, pull, put in for nothing but an entry level job. My mind wasn't staying on entry level, but I needed to get my foot in the door who God talking to. And so what happened, listen to this. I, I began to work what I was just happy to work. Just happy to work. No cuffs, no bars, just happy to work in the sun. So I was about to 
third month, they came to me. They said, T, we're going to promote you. And I'm like, promote to what? In my mind, you, I ain't say nothing. They said, we have an operator job. And it was in 2000. This may not be the biggest pay to y'all, but somebody going from five days a month to $7 an hour, and $9 an hour, now they finna say 13 and they're talking about less than four months. That wasn't nothing but the hand of God. So they said, go put in an application. This is what he whispered to me. He said, we done gave you the job. He said, so we don't have no problem about the other workers. Just go through this. So I'm walking to the wall. <laughs> I'm following instructions. And my mind started thinking. Because the people said, you can't have a new job for 90 days. But I heard a word from somebody in authority. Y'all ain't hear what I'm trying to tell you. And see, some of y'all allow your mind to talk you out of your blessing. And so soon as I got past that, another Christian, believer, said, what you doing? I'm already sneaking. You know you can't have that job. The people that's supposed to believe God with me couldn't even believe God. You know why? Because they didn't come whisper to them. And so I filled out the application. Filled out the application. And nobody ain't saying that. I ain't checked my check. I ain't checked my check. Just working, just working, working, working. And the man came and whispered, said, T, have you noticed your check? He said, we've been retro paying you now for a while. Ever since we started training you. Are you, are you. are you hearing what I'm trying to tell you? That the Lord wants to retro some of us in this place from what you went through. Yeah, the enemy meant it for evil, but God... You, the God knew for three years, 37 months, 16 days, I wasn't getting paid. So the Lord put me on a grace and favorable program. When you begin to accelerate past people, and when you begin, oh Lord, have mercy, you got to be careful about that. When God begins to put you on fast track, there's going to be some people start saying, how you got it? Who you know? Have you come from another job? No, just say, it's the favor of God. Yeah, y'all still on your feet. It's the favor of God. Yeah, y'all need to open your mouth. It's the favor of God. Yeah, yeah, jo Joseph Brothers was, was used by God to help him get to the palace. Yeah, yeah, so I want to go ahead and encourage some of y'all. For the ones in here that are the ones on your job that have been bothering you, guess what? They may have meant it for evil. Yes, sir. See, this is a strange gospel now. We can't say nothing now. But God meant it for good. And destiny was on the pit. Lord have mercy. See, we think destiny was just on the palace, but destiny was on the pit because you got to learn some lessons at the bottom if you're going to be a diamond. You got to learn how to use your stuff in places you don't want to be in. It, it, I think it's in Genesis 45 or 47. It says, uh, God sent me before you that I may preserve your life. God just graced you to help your family. God, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, y'all pointing at that young lady on the wall. Let's loop, dog. I just felt that. That's, yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, God, yeah. Yes, God going to do it. God going to do it. Shake it in the cold God going to do it. You ain't warring against the enemy. Once you just grab and just say, Lord, I'm going to yield to you. All that you went through, guess what? God going to get some glory out of it. Your life ain't no, ain't no mistake. Your situation ain't no mistake. You're going to see some great days. I'm talking about some days that somebody going to have to help you stand up because God is going to blow your mind here quickly. Somebody say here quickly. The Lord is going to do some things for you. It's going to drive out every thought that the enemy tried to lie and fool you with. The Lord has a blessing for you. Yeah, it's ahead of you. Yes. Don't give up now. If you can just turn the corner, Lord have mercy. He said, it's coming for you. Lord have mercy. Yeah, you think you just own that wall. That wall ain't holding you up. You being upheld by the word and the power of God. Yeah. God is going to deliver you. He's going to deliver you with a strong hand. He said, I have prepared a table for you. 
that Lord, I'm going to go ahead and be direct. He said, in the city of Mulberry. Yeah, yeah, they have mocked you and said some things about you. Yeah, you work at hardest, yeah. He said, don't worry about that. Just keep on serving right now. He said, you serving right now. They started coming to eat, but they don't know I'm training you, yeah, to serve in a bigger capacity than at hardest. They can't even see in the spirit realm. They see hardest, yeah. You're dealing with burgers. You're dealing with something that's served all across the world. God is teaching you how to run that computer. He's teaching you how to work that register. He's teaching you how to honestly move that money. And he's not doing it for hardest. He's doing it for destiny. Thank you, Lord. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Thank you, Lord. Shakata no kosata. Roshakata bosa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. I just want to speak to the diamonds in this place. With every eye closed. Father, I just pray over the diamonds right now, God. Father, the precious real God. And God, we can't even see what you're doing because we're up under pressure. But God, you're looking at us and you're still seeing greatness being developed, God. So Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. I speak to this spirit man, God. That we walk in the fullness of your manifold grace, God. That your light begins to spring forth like never before, God. Father, I come against every demonic seed and thought, God, right now in the name of Jesus. That tried to bury us in our faith. That tried to bury dreams, God. God, that you're bringing us up and out, God. To be leaders, to be managers, to be owners, God. In the name of Jesus, God. To be well favored by you, God. Father, I thank you for authentic diamonds right now, God. That will walk in the anointing, God. That when we just open our mouth, we don't know what to say, God. Your anointing flows, God. In the name of Jesus, God. And Father, for those of us that are diamonds are going through some dull, hard seasons, God. God, we ask you to breathe on us again, God. Cause your glory to shine on us again. Cause your face to shine on our countenance, God. That people don't see us, God. They see you, the real true light, God. Father, we thank you for deliverance in this place. 